welcome to softy gaming today i come up with my next content and we are working on project monitoring and controlling by using power bi with primavera p6 and excel tools so in the last lecture i have told you how to download and install power bi from directly microsoft store and i have given you also a link to download from that one here i open my power bi you can see when you open power bi this window will be appear in front of you so you have to neglect this one i will let you know later about this one in my next tutorials you have to close this window in this lecture i will tell you about introduction of power bi microsoft power bi interface so this is microsoft power bi interface there are four only ribbons in this microsoft power bi first this concept goes to us that this is a difficult software but actually it's not it's a just a simple and four ribbon based and just very very easy to use this one and it's interactive report generation purpose to visualize your data what you do do in excel from a huge database you convert your charts your visualizations in excel you can do this one easily here by linking and by faster than excel so from here i will tell you about the most important tabs are home and modeling there you can see a field tab here so this field tab three tabs which are very important in this version field visualization and filters so i will tell you about fields when you create a data or add a data the data will be appear here the second one is is visualization visualization you have to create which type of chart stacked bar chart stacked column chart clustered bar chart clustered column chart 100% stacked bar chart 100% stacked column chart line chart area chart stacked area chart line and stacked column chart line and clustered column chart ribbon chart waterfall chart funnel chart scatter chart pie chart donut chart tree map chart map field map gauge card multi row card kpi slicer table matrix script visual python visual key influencer qa gis map for power bi and this is power bi setup so you can import more apps from here in there and for visualization so i tell you about visualization which which chart you can make here and you can import from here any app or any file to visualize your data from here these are two option from here format and format and fields so two two formats you have to format a chart you will go for there and you have to uh, you have to change in any data in your fields you will click from there so from fields this fields you will add data there and from the fields this field will be go there there in you will put data here and this will be presented here so when you add a visualizer here so you can see you can make changes in this one you can change this one 
drag down drag up size you can change size so you can apply filter here you can apply anything here so this is a filter which applied on this one so i will remove this one you can add any any visualize chart here this is introduction video i will not tell you a lot about it i will tell you in other videos so this is a page you can create one two three or four pages how many you like these pages these are page you can create more than one pages here and this option same here on the top new page you can create new page from here and the visualizer for here visualizer you can create visualizer from here new from from new new bar from new option so when i go for there there are three options on the left most vertical tab so here you can see reports this one is reports and the second one is for data and the third one is relationship of you can see auto arrange relationships activity is layout when you add your fields this it will be show relationship and its model tab this will call model tab or relationship tab when you open this one it will show the relationship between your tables and this one is your data tab here you can see your data which which you which you are using and this one the third one is your report the basic one and here is home tab modeling view tab and help tab so i will show you what are uses of this tab so this cut copy and format printer it's it's same as microsoft other products and get data you can understand from get data so you have to get data from excel anything sqls which file and which format which app you want to extract data and this one is recent resource you if you have any recent activity recent project and recent data have you uh, imported or uh, you have get your data so you can recent use recent recent source manage and connect to recent source any recent source so enter data you can enter your data from here any data you want to add a new data from here you can there is an option for enter data so edit queries there is uh, to edit any query by applying formulas and by applying complete applications you will use edit queries and this is for refresh option when you have an any page here you can refresh it and when you created a report you can refresh from there this is new page i have told you already new visualization this i have told you already ask a question from here use natural language to ask a question about your data you when you write here any english uh, any in english language you can ask any, any question from here so buttons you if you want to show any button here you can show button uh, from this bar so uh, the other bar is text box when you add a text box here it's same as it is like uh, we write data in uh, i if i write soft demi here soft e demi here so this is same function as our microsoft uh, as our microsoft application have you can make this one is bigger size soft demi here you can change its language anything you can change from here so you can also add a picture from image here shapes here which shape you want to draw here you you can draw here shapes anything uh, you can that get data from online marketplace and from a file and you can change the theme from here this is theme option you can manage your relationship from there it is man manage relationship option okay the next is add a new major table you can add new major table new column a new quick major and you can publish your all the data to by by linking your sign in option so view you can make a show grids here uh, to show your data you, this is a view option snap object to grid look lock objects you can lock the objects bookmark pan and selection pan and sinex slicer and performance analyzer this one is to show your uh, reports at uh, workplace this one view tab will be manage your workplace this one is uh, mobile of view and this one is desktop view you can see in the desktop and mobile view and the next one is model tab modeling tab in which modeling tab you have a lot of parameters you have to model your whole the visualizer into in, in your modeling tabs there are modeling tab a lot of manage roles view roles new group edit group 
so i will tell you about all these things in my next coming lectures so this is this is the introduction to my interface of power bi in my upcoming lecture i will tell you i will create a report i just fastly a report to just give you uh, an overview about the power bi how power bi generate reports and how it look like so then we will continue further and we will learn how to create reports and dashboards on power bi so stay connected like comment share and if you don't subscribe my channel till now please subscribe it and don't forget to press bell icon see you in my next upcoming videos